Today we are joined by N Forstel. How are you doing today? Yes, sir. What's happening? Very well. So let's start it off by telling me how long have you been a DJ for? Uh, boy, we're looking about 20 years or something like that. 20 years? Yeah, yeah. 20 years as N Forstel? Nah, um, how, well, most of it was DJ Naughty and then, yeah, now more. Like, I'm N Forstel for the like, last, what, nine years? Last nine years. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think this is an obvious one. For the, but for those who doesn't know you, do you consider yourself to be more than just a DJ? Yeah, definitely, 100%. I'll, I'll consider myself to be more as a producer now. What What makes that transition for you? Like, what makes you feel like that? Um, less DJ bookings. <laughs> <laughs> less DJ bookings and more productions yeah, in the studio. Yeah, more productions, yeah, more releases and everything. What sparked your interest in becoming a DJ in general? Um, Pirate Radio, uh, I used to be like in my room with nothing but channels one, two, three, four, and Fuzzy Five, and a radio, yeah. and then afterwards, um, yeah, I listened to radio more than I watched TV. Okay, okay. What, like, triggered you to make the first steps? So, we get it, like, big, living in the household, one, two, three, four, five, and <laughs> but, like, what made you buy your first set of decks or your first record? Um, my first record... I used to go to school near UDM in Enfield. Okay. So, yeah, I used to see that record shop, go in there, then go Planet Fat in Caledonian Road, just collect records all the time, and then ask my parents if I could get a set of decks. And, yeah, they got me Technics. What type of music was you into growing up? Um, initially, I was into rap. Obviously, Michael Jackson, R&B, and all that kind of stuff. And when I was into Pirate Radio, Garage, 100%. Okay. How would you how would you like describe the sound you play right now? Bumpy, energetic, always lively, um, rough with the smooth actually. Sometimes it's a bit hard, and other times it's a bit, but like not slow, but soulful. If you know what I mean. Okay, and being specific within genres, what type of genres within house music do you play? You know what? Um, it's it's a fusion between. You know, tech house, but um, on a more bumpy vibe, deep, but um, also like a soulful vocal vibe as well. But it's not exactly soulful house. Mm -hmm. I've actually called it wave house because it's like got that kind of R&B vibe to it as well. Okay. Okay. What's been your best moment as a DJ so far? Uh, I can't even really think. Make, probably fly into different countries like Iron Napa, Germany. Absolutely. So, yeah, Sweden as well. So, yeah, man. What would you say has been your biggest struggle or your hurdle as being a DJ? Um, I'll say social media. You know, like when there's social media, it's a very loud world and you can't be silently brilliant. Mm. So, you have to be loud as well. So, I'm a very quiet reserved um i'll say you know laid back person i'm not really that loud so being loud um yeah i think that's a big hurdle for me okay i respect that tell me three things you love about playing to a crowd doesn't have to be free just name me one like what's your most favorite thing about playing to a crowd um well that's when i kind of express myself a little bit more like um yeah, behind the booth is the only time when I really express myself, like I'm dancing, I'm, I'm vibing and um, seeing the crowd kind of like, you know, react to it. That's kind of the best thing, if you know what I mean. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, yeah, they bounce off me, if you know what I'm saying. Damien, this is going to be a hard one. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. We're disturbing you. <laughs> In shot still? Yeah. No, I'm not already in shot still. No, I know, right? It was a bad shot still. I felt, I felt it still. One, two, ready? Yeah. Um.
has five, let me call you back in five minutes. I literally need to call you back because you said it's urgent. I heard it, it's not urgent. <laughs> Right, one, two, three, go. Hard one, but could you tell me your top three DJs of all time? Any genre? Yeah, EZ, Kenny Dope, and Jazzy Jeff. Respectable. What DJs are you listening to at the moment? Like, who's really capturing your ear? Honestly, I've not been listening to any DJs lately. Like, um... Yeah, I've not really had the time. I've always been in the studio, so I haven't really got the chance to listen to other DJs at the moment. I respect that. Are there any record labels that you keep tabs on for like new music or anything like that? Yeah, um, the regular, like Defected, I always check what they're doing. Um, sometimes Spinning, even the majors actually. Mm -hmm. Like there's always something um, there, but it's not even specific labels. It's just artists or what's out there. Um, I don't really look just for specific labels. I just look to see who's out there and what artists I can actually get as well. Yeah, I respect that. You know, as a producer, could you tell me what your biggest track to date is? Uh, every single track's got um, its purpose, I'll say, because um, my first release as in for sale was like, you know, people's eyes were like watching what I was going to do. But I couldn't say which one's the biggest because all of them are like kind of like a tool. Mm -hmm. Like um, Circles um, got big because of Richard Elba. He did a remix and then I did a track with MK. That that went quite well. And my last release um, has like broken boundaries for me. Um, so I can't really measure which one's the best. It's kind of like measuring success and you can't really measure success, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest with you. It's like... I'm not going to be sitting next to someone quite often who can say I've worked with Idris Elba yeah. and I've worked with MK. But saying that, have you got any dream collaborations? And well, I feel like you might have already done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was MK actually. Um, to do something with him was a big deal and like it was in, on my bucket list. But um, I wouldn't say dreams anymore. I'll say there's artists that I would want to work with. Like you see them R&B artists like her... Scissor, um, Doja Cat even, like if I could get in the studio with them, that would be amazing. And to me, that's just like at fingertips reach now. I just want to confirm, mentioning names like that, would it be to cross over and do like their music or would it be to bring them over to the deep tech? Sorry, not deep tech. I hate that word. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, don't shoot me. House. Like, yeah, the, like the house world, end of. Yeah, 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 I want them on my world. But it'll be in their integrity as well. So, yeah, um, keep it, you know, vibey, something that they could sing to with the chords and everything. But, yes, yeah, them come into my world. Absolutely. Final question is, as a DJ, what is your mission, your aim, or, like, what do you hope to achieve like your lasting legacy? Uh, as a DJ? Yeah. Not so much as a DJ, more as a producer. Okay. Um, like to bring those artists to my world. <laughs> like, so it's like um, breaking barriers again. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's my biggest dream and bringing a lot of new artists as well. Yeah. Like seeing them go from, you know, homegrown to worldwide. Yeah. And yeah, me being the catalyst for that. Okay, okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah, nice. Nice one, We're signing nah, out. Big up. <laughs>